Okay, this is a Samsung NP355V5C. This is the UK edition. Um, but I assume that this laptop is the same all over the world, it's just with its different model numbers at the end. This laptop here, um, it, it's not powering on at all, so I'm going to take the system board out and, and maybe check the power jack. So, first thing first, just unclip the battery, slide that out. If you have an SD card in the, in the slot, take that out as well. Okay, we're going to start by taking off these two panels underneath. Just one screw on that one. And just prise that up. And it just pulls off. Set that aside. Um, one screw on this one as well. This panel just slides forward. So slide it forward and lift it away. Okay, now in here we're gonna take out the hard drive. Just push down on it and gently and slide it forward. And that should just lift out. I'm gonna unpop the two memory chips. Just pull the little clips at either side outwards and unclip the memory. And the same for the second module. Okay, I'm gonna un unscrew the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. And what I like to do is just put a black mark beside the black cable, so I know when I'm putting the back where the black antenna cable goes and where the white one goes. So unscrew the screw that's holding that. Unclip the two Wi-Fi antennas. They just pull off. Remove the Wi Fi antenna. Okay, when I'm down there at the Wi Fi antenna, and um, there is the the battery or the, the keyboard connector. So if you just pull the black clip up and the keyboard cable should just slide out. Okay, next thing. I'm going to remove one, two, three, four screws which hold the, the keyboard in place. Okay, turn the laptop over and open it out. Now if you have some uh, a plastic uh, prising tool, it's pretty good for this job. What I want to do is basically unclip the, the keyboard. Actually close the laptop as well. And I can pry it at the back as well. So right in across here. So it all should come apart. Now this one's came out pretty easy because I've had this laptop already open. You, you might have a, a tougher job removing the keyboard cover than, than this. When I first did it, it, it was a little bit more difficult. But that's the general idea. It's quite... These parts in here at the back of the hinges are, can be quite difficult to, to get out. But you gotta get a, a good plastic tool to, to pry that apart. So, now we're into the inside of the laptop uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove the screws on the base of the laptop 
So we've already got the, this row removed. So we'll start here, there's one in the middle that needs to come out. Across the front of the machine. There are one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's six, I can't even count. <laughs> six across the front. I'm going to remove the DVD drive. There's one screw holding it. And just pull the DVD drive clear. Okay, turn the laptop over. And we're going to disconnect some of the uh, the ribbons that are connected into the motherboard. The this one here just pulls out. Make sure and pull it by the by the blue tab. And it just pulls backwards. I think this this one here you just slide the little white connector backwards. Try not to pull it by the cable. Again here. I'm using two plastic spatulas to try and slide this one back. It's quite stubborn. Okay, that's him. Again here at the front. This one's pull the little black plastic cover up. And that one should slide out. Okay, there's a number of screws holding this top panel that I'm going to have to deal with now. Um, we'll start here in the, the back corner. I'm going to store these screws separately. Okay, with all those screws apart, you can basically just prise the uh, the top cover away. Mine came off on this laptop. It, this one came off really easily. Um, I didn't really have to pry much. It, it really just did pop off. So that's the uh, top cover gone. Now, uh, as far as I, what, what I'm looking to do is here is just to get the the motherboard out. When you get to the, if this was was your laptop you could if you were changing the display or anything like that you would have access to the uh, the ribbon for the display so you you would basically just pop that off and you wouldn't have to go much further but I do need to take the the main board out so there's just a couple of connectors here that I gotta deal with this little uh, ribbon here for the uh, CD-ROM drive it just slides straight back out as does this one for the audio jacks on the side, slides straight back out. Well, that's what the, the ribbon for the video is up here. And it's got a plastic tape on top of it. I'm just going to take that up gently. And again, I'm going to use two plastic pry tools. I'm going to go in at either side of it, push it back gently. 
that's it. Power connector for the fan has got to be prized out. Okay, I've got just one screw holding the main board, which is just over here. Take that one straight out. And okay, when you're lifting the main board away, just be aware that the, uh, the conne connection from the power jack to the main board is actually it's soldered onto the, the board, so that cannot be removed. So that's the that's a disassembly guide. I um, hope this was useful. You pretty much follow these steps in reverse to uh, get the machine back together again. Best of luck with your repair. Thanks for tuning in.